This is BBC News, the headlines at five. Doctors' leaders welcome moves to ease the workload of GPs in England so they can focus on the COVID booster rollout. But some patients' groups say postponing services could be dangerous. Dozens of troops have been deployed to Northumberland to help people whose homes are still without power eight days after Storm Arwen. The parents of a teenager accused of the fatal shooting of four US high school students using a gun bought by his father appear in court where they have pleaded not guilty to manslaughter charges. And coming up at half past five as part of the BBC's 100 Women series, Nomia Iqbal speaks to the actress Rebel Wilson about life in Hollywood and how the pandemic has made the Australian change her outlook on life. Good evening. GPs in England have been told they can defer some of the services they provide to patients so doctors can focus on delivering COVID booster jabs instead. Routine health checks for the over 75s and minor surgery could be affected. 75 new cases of the Omicron variant have been identified in England. That brings the total number in the UK to 134. The government has also launched a new campaign urging all unvaccinated pregnant women to come forward and receive their jab. So while there's been concern about temporary suspending some health checks, the Royal College of GPs spokesperson David, sorry, Dr Steve Mole told me earlier that anyone needing treatment would still be able to see their GP. 